starts now. Safety concerns for returning students. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. College kids and their parents telling Channel 3 News they're worried about drugs and crime in the Queen City. And Eichmann David, who's live on St. Paul Street, many of those students returned to Burlington this month. Yeah, Darren and Kat, good evening. Parents tell me they're concerned to send their kids to this campus. The St. Paul Street Champlain College campus sits between, to my right, City Hall Park, and to my left, Decker Towers. Now behind me about a block or so is 184 Church Street. Just this weekend, two shootings happened at location. Now all of those locations I mentioned, we have reported crime and drug use there. And that has students worried about their Sometimes in the back there will be needles too. You can find them basically anywhere in here. Everything from used needles to used Narcan, which reverses an opioid overdose, lined the city-owned parking lot below Champlain College's downtown student housing. The apartment-style housing is in the heart of Burlington's downtown, which means they're in the middle of the issues that the city is facing. It's, it's not the best. Definitely once it gets past about like 8 p.m., I get a little bit iffy. They say despite a visible presence of campus security, the issues of drugs, crime, and loitering are impacting their daily lives. The fact that there are students having to walk through and avoid needles and avoid like people yelling at them and cat calling them and stuff like that, it's just not great, not a fun experience. It's honestly usually this one. Inside and upstairs, Joey Clemente has a view from his corner dorm apartment. It's been increasingly worse. It's been increasingly less safe, um, and there really hasn't been much done. He says the parking garage across the street is a common spot with people using drugs. It kind of starts to wear on you a little bit, and you kind of get a little bit more wary about, you know, what actually happens and whether or not you feel safe. On Wednesday, contractors were working in that garage. People are down here. They're doing whatever they do. They're shooting up right in front of us. They don't. They don't care. Um, it's kind of. It's kind of nerve-wracking. They won't move. Champlain College officials say they hear the student concerns. Unfortunately, you know this issue is not specific to this one building or property or area. It's really the issues are being experienced um, citywide and, of course, across the country as well. They say that campus security patrols the area 24-7. They have cameras and have added more lights. Definitely saw like a drug drop a couple nights ago. As for the issue of parents and students worried about safety, the college says it's a larger issue they're collaborating with the neighborhood to work on. Like if parents are saying they're concerned to send their kids here, you know, what's the message from the school? Well, it's really, I hope, a message to, um, to the the city of Burlington and that um, everyone is paying attention and I think everyone is working hard to put um, initiatives and resources in place to help curb behaviors. Students say they just want to feel safe. Especially when we're paying a lot of money to be here and can't even really be safe in the area around it. It's kind of hard. Champlain College tells me they're looking to add more safety measures like motion sensor lights and barricades. Live in Burlington, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.